Welcome back to another video. My name is Chris North and you are watching Smelly King Fragrance Reviews. And today I'm going to be doing a first impressions haul video. I got 12 new fragrances in, three of which I've smelled before. I just got full size bottles and I'll go over those three first. And then I'm actually going to do first impressions of the other nine that I have not smelled yet. So let's do it. All right, so the first one is Atelier Cologne Pacific Lime. I actually had a discovery kit from Atelier Cologne, so I've smelled this before, and then I ordered 10 mil decants, and I liked them so much that I got the full-size bottle. I'm not gonna go over those, I just wanna show you that they all came into the hall. Uh, Cedar Atlas from Atelier Cologne did the same thing. And then one that I'm really excited about is Cedra Boise. You can actually see that something's missing. I've already decanted uh, two 10 mils out of it, so but I actually wore this today and this is a beast. We'll go ahead and get started with the ones that I haven't smelled. We'll start with Amen by Mugler. I got the refill instead of the actual spray bottle and I just put it into a decant myself. And I'm using tester strips instead of skin. I know it smells different on skin, but I'm not spraying nine fragrances on my skin. And I'm not, also not looking the notes up again. This is a first impression. Um, just gonna kind of go off of what I smell, but this definitely has tobacco in it. It has that old school vibe. I know this came out in like the mid to late 90s, I think 96, somewhere around there. It has that old school vibe, but this tobacco in here is really, really nice. It's not sharp, but this is, this is really nice. I'm, I'm gonna wear this a lot. I like it. And then I'll go back around and smell them again like I normally do, but I'll set them up. I got the second bottle. I've got my John Barbados Nick Jonas Crimson. I have the other two, the silver and the blue. Wanted to go ahead and complete the collection, so here it is. I got it as a tester. It says tester, and that's why it doesn't come with a lid, but save me some money. The other two are really like mass appealing scents. Makes sense, so I'm kind of curious as to whether this is gonna be the same in this one. It's different than the other two. It's uh, spicier but it's not as potent. The other two, they may have Embroxin. I think the blue one definitely has Embroxin in it. Synthetic molecule, mass appealing synthetic molecule. This one just smells spicy and powdery. I like that a lot. I think this might be my favorite out of the three. Previously it was blue and then silver. Uh, and I think this might, yeah, this one might be the best one out of the three in my opinion. Crimson, John Barbados, Nick Jonas, my cat always has to make an appearance. All right, so this one I'm excited about as well. I have Club de Nuit Intense Man, and this now is Club de Nuit Intense Milestone. Actually, just Club de Nuit Milestone. Some people say that it's a clone of Millicent Imperial by Creed, which I also have a decant of. So we'll see. I've heard lots of good things about it. I see the resemblance. This is a lot more citrusy sweet in the beginning, but I can see the resemblance. Yeah, it definitely smells like uh, Millicent Imperial from Creed. Huge price difference though. So curious to see how long this is gonna last on skin compared to Millicent, but. This is, it smells nice, I'm glad I got it. There's one more, I think there's, well, there's the regular Club de Nuit, uh, Club de Nuit but uh, not really interested in that one. And then there's Club de Nuit CIs, which is also another Creed clone. So I'm gonna get that one eventually, but that'll be fun to wear in the summer. All right, now we have Chrome Pure. I have Chrome Aqua, regular Chrome, Chrome United. I've got quite a few of these. Let's see if I like this one. I got the 1.7 ounce bottle, so kind of smaller, 50 mil. I like the bottle. I like the color. Ooh, that's different. That's really different. I don't think I've smelled anything like this before. That's fresh, like super fresh. And I can't really pick up, like it's, there's some fruit in there, but I can't tell what kind of fruit that is. I'll look at the notes later and, and be like, oh, well, obviously that's it. Can't think of it now, but this is super fresh. I'm liking this. This is definitely gonna be something I'm gonna wear a lot in the heat of summer, which is sort of already here, close to 90 degrees the last couple days. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's, that's nice, it's super fresh. Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. The first one that I have in that line, I have Guerlain Vetiver, but I wanna get Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne and the EDT as well. I might not get the EDT, but I definitely wanna get the Cologne. We'll see how this one smells. This one's also a 50 mil 1.7 ounce bottle. The glass feels like super high quality. I like that. So this reminds me of, right off the bat, uh, Terre d'Hermes, which I, is actually the bottle right there. But this one is a little bit, a little bit sweeter. I think this might have almond in it and that might be making it a little bit sweeter, a little bit nuttier too. This is gonna be something that I would wear dress up. Like if I wanna be dressing up for any occasion, that's that's gonna be what I wanna put on. I like that, that's good stuff. Prada Loam, I can't believe it took me this long to get it, but 
it's here now. And the main note in this one is Iris. The whole Prada Lone line is like an Iris based fragrance line. It's supposed to be like the best fragrance you can wear in the office. I've read a lot of reviews that have said that. Iris is definitely the main note in this. That's nice, I like that a lot. I can see why this is known for being a great office fragrance. This is super non-offensive, it smells really good. Anybody can pull it off. You can dress this up, dress this down. This this is this is nice. A lot of the colognes that I have here, as a matter of fact, not a lot, all of them were ones that were on my wish list. So that's kind of cool to finally have these in. All right, we have another Prada fragrance. We have, I haven't seen any reviews on this. I just saw it on the website when I was ordering Prada. This is the only one actually that wasn't on the wish list that I was just like, let's go ahead and pull it the trigger and see what it smells like. Prada Amber Pore Ohm Intense. It picks up fingerprints like crazy. So that's, uh, it reminds me of like an old school, sort of like Stetson Old Spice mix. I'm, I'm sure that no one else is gonna say, oh yeah, that makes sense, because it probably doesn't, but that's what I'm getting. Maybe like Stetson Black. It has that uh, sort of feel like if you're in the open field, like an open field full of just like hay, it has that smell. I probably would wear this a little more dress up than I would Prada Lome, but not quite dress up as Lome de all. But that's nice too, yeah. It's also powdery, powdery fresh. Nishani Ani, I think I said that correct, Ani Ani. Um, I've just recently discovered Nishani as a niche house. Their packaging is crazy. I wish I would have shown you. It comes in a box and it's like lined with cloth on the inside. It's super fancy. And this will be my first time smelling any Nishani fragrance. I also want to get a heck of that. I want to get Wulong Cha, which is like a tea-based fragrance. I want to get Fan Your Flames and then EGE Edge, Ego, Eggy. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I want to get that one as well. If I'm blown away by this one, if I like this one a lot, I'm definitely gonna try to pull, my, pull the trigger on some other ones. <clears throat> and this has a huge note breakdown. Uh, I don't quite remember all of them, but I looked at it and it's a big note breakdown. And I've read some reviews of people saying that it you can't really pinpoint any note. They all just really work well together. If there's vanilla in here, I'm already picking that up. I'm pretty sure there's vanilla in it. I just, I love vanilla. So it's like the first thing that I noticed, but this is really, really nice. Super, super nice. So super unique. That's what I love about some of these niche fragrances. Um, they're not quite as mass appealing, but they're super unique. Something you don't smell too often. You smell different than anyone else wearing, you know, fragrances. I like that a lot. It sort of smells like Mugler a little bit, but not. I don't know if that makes any sense. It had, it's. I can pick up some of the stuff from Mugler in here. I don't know if there's tobacco in this, but it smells like, it smells like Mugler, but a lot sweeter. And obviously it has a bunch of other notes in there that make it smell different, but I'm picking up some of the Mugler um, vibes from this too. All right, one last one, and then we'll circle back around. And the last one I have is Nasamato Nudiflorum. I'm, I guess I'm saying that correctly. I love their bottles. Each one of them has like a different wood cap. Some of them are like darker wood. Some of them are square, look like cork wood, but I like them a lot. This is uh, for a small 30 mil bottle. This is pretty pricey, but I'll just see if I like it. It's my first Nasamato fragrance as well. And I just completely sprayed it away from the Cesar Strip onto the um, Milestone bottle, so my bad. I like that sprayer, it's pressurized. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unisex fragrance, a lot of people say that it leans more feminine. It smells really, really good. I would definitely rock this. I'm sort of picking up a, and it smells sort of like sesame seed bun. So I don't know if there's like a sesame seed smell in here, but really, really, really mature fragrance. I wouldn't say that this is something you would see people in their teens wearing if they are wearing it, good for you but I don't think this is something that you're gonna see very many people in the teens and maybe even 20s wearing. I'm almost 30. I can maybe, maybe can pull this off. I like that a lot though. All right, we're gonna circle back around. We have Mugler, Amen. It's a lot, it's more fresh than it was at the beginning. All I could get was like a sweet tobacco. Now there's a fresh side to it as well. I can still see the smell of tobacco. And I'm glad that I got the uh, refill. I've decanted um, five mils out for someone else and I also have a 10 mil decant just sitting there for potential decanting out. Mugler is nice. It's a sweet, fresh tobacco. Crimson from John Barbados. Even more spicy than it was before. Super, super spicy. Uh, Milestone from Club de Nuit. Way more sweet than Millicium Imperial, but it still has that same vibe. I like that. Sort of creamy as well. The Azaro Chrome Pure. Still super fresh. Almost like a Lacoste L1212 Blanc mixed with Nero or uh, Bulgari wood essence is what I'm sort of getting. Those two combined in this one fragrance. Has that sort of crayon smell that 
uh, wood essence gives me in the opening. I say it has a crayon smell, you probably just assume, well, it's what? That's weird, but it smells really good. Just so my nose picks up when I smell wood essence and I can also smell it in there. Uh, Guerlain Lo Medial Eau de Parfum. Uh, mature fragrance, definitely dress up. Sweet, a sort of bitter smell. Um, still reminds me of Terre d'Hermes, but slightly different. Prada Lome, iris and powder, really nice. I definitely could wear this. As a matter of fact, I might wear this tomorrow to the office just to see how it does. Prada Amber Pour Homme Intense. It's not as uh, open field hay smelling anymore. The amber sort of come through and it's a little bit sweeter. So amber, a little bit of slight sweetness, not very much, but really good stuff. That would be something I would wear with suit and tie or just dress up with like a shirt and tie. I don't really wear a suit, but shirt and tie or a dressy shirt. Gunashani Ani, the vanilla is still in there, but it's changing. It also smells slightly bitter, and the vanilla is really strong, which I love. That, that's really different. I like that a lot. I'm definitely going to have to check out some more from Nishani. Beauty Florm from Nasamato. Yeah, still has that sesame smell. I don't even know if there's sesame in it, sesame seeds in it, but it still has that sesame seed smell to me. Definitely a mature fragrance. Not something that I would wear very often. I probably would dress this up. But that smells really good. I can't wait to smell Black Afghano from them as well. It's like a coffee fragrance. So I'm kind of, that's probably going to be the next one I get from Nasamato. But I think this is, this is a perfect first one for me. I like it a lot. So yeah, that's uh, my first impressions. I will pick uh, three real quick. I think Nishani Ani is my favorite. Azaro Chrome Pure is number two. It's definitely a fresh summer smell I'm going to be wearing quite often probably. I won't add one of the three from the outside because I'd probably put um, Cedrat Boise in there. I also love the two Atelier colognes, obviously enough to have the discovery kit by 10 mil and then also buy a bottle. Um, but I've smelled those before, so it's not really a first impressions. It's going to be a toss up between Prada Lome and, uh, Lome Dial, but I think I'm going to take third spot for Lome Dial from Guerlain. I like it a lot. That's my uh, first impressions of the most recent haul. I've also got, uh, like nine decants of stuff that I've never smelled before. I'll probably do a video on those later, uh, as first impressions, uh, some Louis Vuitton and, uh, Spice Bomb and stuff like that. But yeah, this is awesome. I'm glad to have these in my collection. I'm definitely going to be wearing these as, uh, most of these I'll be wearing quite often during the summer, but yeah. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Stay safe, stay fresh, and we will see you in the next one.